Hey Logo Designers, today I want to show you how you can export components from Logo Package Express when they aren't locked up. So what do I mean by this? Well, in this example, Cast is a logo type, and Cast represents the company in most places, but sometimes they use a symbol instead, and this symbol is never paired with the logo type. And also, there's an outlined version of the symbol. So these things are never meant to be locked up together. Well, how can we export them from Logo Package Express quickly and easily? I'll show you. We just need to utilize the naming feature inside of Logo Package Express. So I'm going to make a selection of all three of these pieces and click Set Logo. Once these pieces are set, we can set them individually in the component windows. So I'm going to set this as the logo type. I'm going to set this symbol as the logo mark. And then I'm also going to set this outline version as the tagline. Now, it doesn't really matter how you set these because we're going to be changing the names anyways. So now I'll make web logos. And what we're going to see is a lot of variations that we don't need. And we're also gonna see some names that don't really make sense. So let's first go to the settings gear up in the corner and go to the naming tab. Now, inside of the naming tab, what we can do is we can change these names. Logo type fits and logo mark fits, but tagline does not fit. So what we should do is we'll go to tagline and we'll put in logo mark outline. And then I'll hit tab and you'll see that logo mark outline is now the name of this column. So what I'm going to do is delete all of these nonsensical combinations. And what I'll be left with is a logo mark outline, a logo type, and a logo mark. So now when I export web logos, what we're going to see is all of the artwork will be named exactly what we want it to be named, and none of the pieces are locked up. So we have a logo mark folder, a logo mark outline folder, and a logo type folder. And as I open up these folders, you'll see that they're all getting the correct names and everything makes sense. So once the export is done, you can run the print logos or whichever other variations you need to, and then you're done. So this is how you can export logo components that aren't meant to be locked up from Logo Package Express. Thanks for watching.